Hi, my name's Tony Walker. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my experience with prostate cancer and an issue that no man usually wants to talk about, incontinence. First up, just a little bit of background about me. So I'm 57 years old. Uh, I've been a paramedic for most of my working life and for the last few years, have been the Chief Executive Officer of Ambulance Victoria. I'm married, I've got uh, three wonderful children from my first marriage, three adult kids, and a little four-year-old of my second marriage. And 10 years ago, um, following a few tests with my GP at the age of 47, was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Now, I'm very lucky. I had early treatment. I was picked up early because of the great diligence of my, uh, my GP. Uh, I had surgery, my prostate was removed, and I'm pleased to say 10 years on, I remain prostate cancer free. But one of the things we don't often talk about is the issues, the side effects of that can be the issues of continence. Following my surgery, I had the issues that many men experienced, which was significant problems with my continence that lasted a few months. Um, I was fortunate though, I had a great surgeon, uh, a really good nurse practitioner and a physiotherapist, a urology physiotherapist who looked after me um, before and after my surgery and helped me through that journey to get back to some level of normal continence. But even to this day, 10 years on, I still have issues with my continence. Um, I wear a small pad every day. I have pretty good control, um, but the issues for me are often about a stress continence, coughing, um, getting up quickly, or if I'm tired, then I can uh, um, not have the same level of control I would normally have. The good thing about this, from my perspective, has been that um, with the use of uh, you know, good, good men's products, uh, pads, etc., cetera, um, I don't even think twice about it. Every morning I get out of bed, I have a shower, get dressed, pop a pad in, I'm off for my normal day. And uh, may have to change that once or twice during the day, depending on what's been going on. Most days, it's just the one. Now, most people I work with, or most people I know, don't even, aren't even aware of that. It's not got in the way of my lifestyle. It's not got in the way of being able to do the things. I'm a, an active dad of a four-year-old. Uh, I can get out there uh, and do the things I wanna do. Um, the important thing though for me has been just recognising that I have to plan for that. I have to recognise I don't have the same control I had uh, when I was uh, in my 20s before my surgery. And, uh, and that means um, recognising uh, the circumstances I'm going out and doing, how I'm feeling and keeping an eye on my continence throughout the day but it doesn't get in the way of me doing all the things I want to do. And that's one of the things I wanted to really highlight today, that um, um, with good care, with good support from your GP and from physiotherapists and, and other practitioners, with the use of good product, you can lead a normal, healthy lifestyle. I'm also an ambassador for the Prostate Cancer Foundation. And one of the things that became really clear to me early on in my journey with prostate cancer in talking to other men is that this is an issue we don't talk about. And I've spoken to men who have not had the same experience of me, who have been scared to leave their home because of the fear of continence and what that means to them. What I'd say to every single one of you is there is help available for you, both through products that you can use, uh, through good care from nurse practitioners and from your GP and from physiotherapists that can help you both get control of your continence, but also um, to help you manage it in an appropriate way. The real message I wanna to leave today is that Continence is an issue that does affect men. It's something that we um, need to talk more about. And it's something that with the right support, with the right use of various products, uh, pads, etc., cetera, um, you're in a good position as I am uh, to be able to manage your continence and lead a full active life.